everyone, um, I hope you're okay, welcome to another video lesson today. Um, what we're going to be running through is something that we looked over the last sort of uh, few exercises, few lessons. So this is looking at different stickings and different note values. Uh, now again for this exercise today, this is a pretty straightforward, nice simple one. Good for all abilities, so no matter whether you're just starting off or whether you've been playing for a few years now, um, this is a great exercise for hand technique, um, hand control, uh, coordination and also timekeeping. So yeah, this is a great kind of daily warm-up exercise really. So yeah, same as before, just grab what you can. You can do this on a practice pad, a snare drum, um, grab your sticks if you can. If you don't have anything, you can still practice this just on your legs, okay? so. Um, grab what you can and I will see you in a minute. So if we pick up on rudiments, which is what we were talking about on lesson one, uh, we had a look at single sticking, double sticking and paradiddle sticking. Now, today's lesson is going to be expanding on them, but also adding in the fourth rudiment. Now, the fourth rudiment we're going to learn is what is called an inverted paradiddle. Um, it's actually the same sticking as a standard paradiddle. It just literally begins in a different place. So the sequence is right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. Okay, and again, this sticking will be written below, uh, below and also in the comments, so you can, you can kind of work on that as an individual exercise. Now, what we then do is we play a bar um, in quavers and a bar in semi-quavers. So that's one and two and three and four and, two, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. And we go through the sequence of single sticking, double sticking, standard paradiddle, and then the inverted paradiddle. Okay, so I'll do this without a metronome to begin with, and I'll take this really super slow to begin with. So, single sticking, one and two and three, and then semis, one E and a, two E and a. You go into double, right, right, left, up, quavers, and then a semi quavers, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. Then a paradiddle, standard paradiddle, left, right, left. into the new inverted left right and then double it up to semi quavers and then the whole exercise starts again single sticking double sticking again you should be playing along with me for this paradiddle and semi quaver Inverted. Left, right, right, left. Okay, and you would obviously uh, practice that for much longer than I've just done. If you sort of set a timer for maybe two to three minutes solid, uh, if there's any of those that you're struggling with, obviously just pick those out and work on them as individual exercises. I know the inverted paradiddle for maybe some of you, you haven't looked at that before, so you might want to practice that before putting that um, in the sequence. And then, you know, once, you, once you're kind of happy without the metronome, obviously we want to put a metronome on and practice it. Now, um, I did a little clip at the beginning um, of this video of me just playing that to 120 BPM. And that's, that's really, that's quite a good um, tempo for most of you to kind of work towards at the moment. Again, don't stress out too much. If you can't get it to 120, don't worry about it, just take your time. If, um, if you can go beyond 120, which hopefully a lot of you will, um, then again, um, that would be great. So, um, a good starting tempo is, again, nice and slow. This is gonna be at 70 BPM. So again, that's the pulse, and that we're playing as crotchets. Okay, so here we go. We'll go in together after four. So here we go. Two, three, so single, one, then semis, three, and double sticking, and double 
hold that up. Paradiddle, right, left, right, right, left, and double that up. Then the inverted. Then right back to the beginning, single sticking. You, you would practice that much longer than we just did there, okay? Um, now again, you know, we, we've talked a little bit about technique as well. Um, because of the, the tempo, we, we're going pretty slow here. We're mainly just using wrist strokes at the moment, okay? When we get quicker, that's when we're going to start to use these fingers more. But at this tempo, you should be fine just for um, wrist strokes. Making sure that the sticks are being raised evenly to the same height. Uh, you don't want them. Okay, same height and also same volume, and also make sure you're not digging in, okay? Making sure that all your grip and everything's nice and relaxed as well, um, keeping your shoulders relaxed as well. Uh, you would normally go up 10 BPM, um, just to kind of keep the video a little bit shorter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump all the way up to 100, okay? So again, what you wanna do at any tempo, is just hear that pulse. I kind of like to click my fingers or tap my foot first. Get the count of one, two, three, four, and then you'll be hearing the one and two and three and four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Here we go. Three, four, one and two and three semis. Double. That's 100, I so say you can bump that to 110, 120, um, whatever, whatever feels good, really. Um, now, you know, if you could work on that sort of every day, every couple of days, uh, on the pad, you know, you could obviously take the pad off, um, practice it on the snare drum as well. Uh, you could even start to kind of incorporate the rest of the kit. Maybe you do it as simple as going around the kit. That kind of thing, or you could break those hands up, especially on the paradiddles. You can move that around the toms, maybe the crashes as well. Um, you could also use these just as fill-ins, okay? Really simple fill, so you could play a beat. Boom, gat, dun, dun, gat. Right, right, like that. Boom, gat. Double sticking, that was meant to be. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, 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 left. It's too quick. <laughs> paradiddle, 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 or the inverted paradiddle. There's loads and loads of ideas. Um, you know, first thing though is to get this exercise to begin with, and then um, yeah, kind of run with it and uh, see where you go. And again, if you have any comments or if there's anything that you need me to go through, again, just feel free to send me an email or you can comment below. Um, if you've got any ideas on this yourself, uh, I would love to see them. Again, some of my students, maybe you could video yourself playing them. I'd, I'd really like to see you actually practicing these as well. Let me know how you get on, um, and I'll see you next Friday for another lesson. Have a lovely week, everyone. Don't break,